Hello everyone, my name is Samuel Techley. I've been part of this church for over 20 years. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, I have a ministry in Ethiopia called uh, Yekabur Tasfa, formerly Techley Foundation. The main purpose of the ministry was to train evangelists, indigenous evangelists in Ethiopia, send them to remote areas, and as we plant churches, also to open a preschool to help the children in the villages. From that, it grew. In the last uh, probably five to 10 years, we've gone to a different uh, kind of ministry, uh, distributing Bibles, uh, compassion aid, and microloan projects. I've been back and forth in Ethiopia for the last, uh, I don't know, 12 years or so, going back and forth at least one to two times a year. Last September, when I went to Ethiopia, our focus changed. Uh, most of you may not know, but there is a war happening in Ethiopia, in the northern part of Ethiopia. A government that ruled over Ethiopia for 27 years lost power to a different, a new prime minister, a Christian evangelical believer. And they kind of uh, got together and then trying to overthrow this government they've been fighting and they started a war in November 2021. That war is ongoing for over a year. During this war, over 500,000 people were killed, six to eight million people displaced. You do not see this in the mainstream media here. I also did not believe it until I went there in September. In September when I went, people kind of asked me to go and see the areas, and I want to see the devastated areas. In a city called Dese, city of about 200,000 people, I went there to, and witnessed over 300,000 people displaced in that area. Then we tried to help and then give them food to the displaced people. We were able to give to 1,200 people emergency supplies of food and clothing. I said and I promised them that we will be back. I went back this past January. We were able to help also about 2,600 people. Every one of these people that we supported and we helped lost at least one to four member of a family. To hear their stories was heartbreaking. For me to talk to these people individually and tell me as I saw them just sitting there receiving food, they did not look like there's anything that happened to them. But when you talk to them, they tell you their stories and it, it was heartbreaking. This is the Muslim areas mostly, and we were able to deliver food talk to some of the people. And then the, the mainstream media here in Canada not reporting it, it, it was heartbreaking for me personally. I came back and I said, we'll be coming again to help the people in northern part of Ethiopia. This time I'm going next Monday again to, to Ethiopia. The focus this time is that we identified about 200 people that we're going to be giving them micro loans or a or, or loan uh, on 500 Canadian dollars each on average. And then they've lost everything, their farm, their homes, and their shops. We're going to help them reestablish again. Other than the micro loan project, we also will be doing trauma counseling to some of them, training pastors and evangelists to do the trauma counseling. We are, I'm very happy to report just a few days ago that uh, Wycliffe uh, kind of uh, uh, told us that they, uh, they have trained counselors who are ready to train our evangelists and church planters. Ethiopia is a country of 120 million people. The northern part of Ethiopia has about 30% of the population of Ethiopia. The war affected areas there are still many, many people lost in the mountains and in the villages. We hope to go there. And then the other thing that we'll be doing is that this northern part of Ethiopia has never been open to the gospel. Now, they're asking us to come. So we hope to send 10 evangelists this May, another 10 in September. That is an opportunity that we've never had in the history of Ethiopia to send church planters and evangelists into the northern part of Ethiopia, mostly because they're Muslim and then Orthodox people. Now, because we helped with this Compassion Aid project, we're able to send evangelists to that area. So we hope to see the church churches being planted in the very remote areas in the northern part of Ethiopia. 
join us in partnering with our ministry in Ethiopia to, to, to come along with us, alongside with us, with this microloan project or the trauma counseling that we'll be doing in that area or sending church planters to that area. You can talk to me directly or you can talk to Greg in our church for more information regarding the projects.